kick the door over and over, but it's hopeless. It's not like whoever designed the prison wanted the inmates to get out. I slump back against the wall. Is this it? Is this how I go? Drowning in prison? Or slowly suffocating to death? There's a metallic clicking sound to my left. I turn in surprise just as the door opens, pulled slowly outward against the floodwaters. A woman moves hesitantly around the door and stands in the entrance. She's holding a red fire axe in her hand. In the faint light from the passage, I can see she's young, still in her twenties, a delicate face and hazel eyes with crinkles underneath that make it look like she's going to break into laughter. Amy had that. It was what first drew me to her. We stare at each other for a long moment. Hey. Uh, hey? A drawn-out silence. I saw you earlier today when you were brought here. One of the CEOs said you used to be a cop. Yeah, I was. They said you're in here because you killed the guy who murdered your wife. And my baby. What? My wife was pregnant, and I only killed one of them. Two got away. Oh, okay. Um, serious question? You're not, like, psycho, are you? I mean, you're not a mass murderer or a rapist or anything like that? No. So, you're not going to cut my throat or bash my head in? The day's young. Her eyes narrow. Sorry. Bad joke. Right. Great timing. Way to read a room. Her fingers curl and uncurl around the axe. She still looks like she's trying to decide between ramming it into my head and running away. I'm Jack Constantine. Kira Sawyer. I'm new here. First day. That's unfortunate. Mind telling me what's going on here, Kira? Nobody calls me Kira. It's Sawyer. Okay, Sawyer. I've been out since around two. Can you fill in the few gaps? Right. Strap yourself in. It's around midnight now. Hurricanes Josephine and Hannah have joined up to form some kind of superstorm. You may have noticed that the infirmary is flooding, which doesn't bode well for the rest of the prison. And the hurricane hasn't even reached full strength yet. Jesus. Yeah, hold that thought. It gets worse. All the cell doors have been opened. Every single one in the prison. Which means all the inmates are free. I sincerely doubt that's going to end well. So, to sum up, inmates running around killing each other, prison flooding, Category 5 super hurricane hitting us, what else? Oh yeah, the COs are all gone, and I don't think anybody on the outside actually knows about us, so no help is coming. Wait, what? Back up. What the hell are you talking about? The National Guard was supposed to come and relieve the staff. Watch over you guys until the hurricane passed. They didn't turn up. My guess is they're dead. Montoya decided all the staff should leave when the guard didn't show. Now they're dead too. I open my mouth to speak, but she cuts me off. I heard it on the radio. Trust me, they're dead. So, we're well and truly on our own. Or to put it another way, fucked. So why are you still here? I got lost. They left without me. Her hand rises to touch her head. Her hair is matted at the back with what looks like blood. One of the inmates hit me. I made it in here, locked the door with my keys, but I passed out. I only just woke up. So you haven't been out into the prison again? Not for a few hours. How do we know anyone's still alive? We don't. Think about it logically, I tell myself. Take it step by step. Obviously, the first thing to do is get out of the infirmary. The whole place is going to be underwater within an hour. You still got the keys? She shakes her hip slightly. Metal jingles. Good. We need to get out of here. She looks at me like I just said the stupidest thing she's ever heard. Good idea. Wish I'd thought of that. Then she turns and starts wading through the water.